Howdy, folks. I'm a sneaky Saturday Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some sneaky Saturday Reddit. All right, folks. Our Saturday sneaky letter is titled, Will I be a jerk for videoing my wife's choice of nanny? Because he's a man. The title's not entirely accurate. I want to veto both of my wife's nanny selections and choose a more appropriate candidate. However, I do admit that one of the vetoes is because the candidate is a male and that makes me uncomfortable. Normally, I would be happy pulling rank and choosing a more appropriate nanny. But our relationship has been under extreme stress since she returned to work and we've had two nannies fail already. For some context, our son is four years old. My wife was a stay-at-home mom for three years prior to us having our first nanny. It was quite tough the first time for all of us with her going back to work when she didn't need to and the events that led to us letting the first nanny go after three months. The second nanny lasted until last week. My wife had a very tough time filling in the work and home life and we've all felt very distant and absent. The nanny tried her best, but again, there was an event that triggered my wife. For example, the first nanny and they fought and eventually the nanny quit on the spot. Honestly, it was tempting just to follow the nanny, but obviously I couldn't do that. It's been really tough. But now we're needing to select for our third nanny in only a 12 month period. Our previous nannies have both been young women that we met via Facebook. My wife's current suggestion are a young man who was referred to us by one of my wife's close friends and an older Italian woman from Facebook with poor English and wholly unattractive personality. She smokes too. I understand why my wife has chosen these two options. And the Italian lady is obviously a bad choice and is another Facebook find. I can't select her without looking like an idiot. I wouldn't want her anyways. So my wife is effectively forcing me to choose a male nanny. I don't really want to, but I also don't want to be the cause of any further relationship issues. I love my family very much. Will I be a jerk for vetoing the male nanny just because he's a man? Or is this seen as widely acceptable? I'm not sure if I'm being sexist or if it's okay not to select him just because of his gender. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yes, you're the jerk. To answer your specific question at hand, yes, if you veto someone specifically because of their gender, that is sexist mm -hmm. and not okay. But there's a much more troubling thread throughout this post. Yeah, well, and I guess Amber was reading through the comments and it basically comes across in the comments from what Amber has told me that... He probably cheated on his wife with the nannies, and that's why they're having so many relationship issues. Yeah, well, people noticed he was very vague, and he's refused to address what exactly went down. Mm -hmm. He's just like, oh, there was an argument between my wife and the nanny. Yeah. Uh, and, like, his whole post, he makes it sound like, oh, my wife is so terrible for going back to work. Maybe she's going back to work because she's tired of you cheating on her and wants to get out. And then the whole... I'll follow the nanny. Right. Like, that's such a weird thing to say if you're not hooking up with them. Yeah. And then also vetoing. Yeah, the pulling rank thing. That's and really troubling. Yeah. It sounds like, you know, he just sounds like a very, like, I'm the head of the household. I do what I want type of thing. And that's not okay. Yeah. But that's kind of my thoughts. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here, and Amber's got a joke for us. Pikachu picked this one out. Mm. So you can't blame me if you don't like it. I can. What letters are not in the alphabet? Oh, there's a lot of alphabet. You mean the American Standard English alphabet? Because, like, thorn isn't in the alphabet, and I mean... Uh, fee. Fee isn't in the alphabet. Are you talking and, Greek letters? Well, thorn wasn't. Well, no, I know that, but if fee is a uh, phi, is, Greek, Greek yeah. letter. 
And then, um, let's see, there's a, there's a lot of letters. But we didn't say what alphabet, we said not in the alphabet, so any alphabet. Any alphabet? We'll go with that. So it can't be what letter is not in any alphabet. Well, the one that's in your mailbox. Then. Yeah, the ones in the mail. And I have Mega Mint. And we also have the special guest tea, which is appropriate because it's still the evening time. It isn't actually Saturday morning for me. And we have a tea here called Triple Danger Chamomile <laughs> Tea. Yeah, three chamomile. Triple Danger is what <laughs> I like to call it. And did you know that three chamomile tea tastes exactly like one chamomile tea? <laughs> <laughs> So it just tastes like chamomile tea. There, there's no no punches, no weirdness to it. It's just chamomile. That that's it. Just chamomile. I know I said that wrong, and I've probably said it differently three different times. So <laughs> chamomile, chamomile, chamomile. -y. All right, folks. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Amber, what is the moral of the story today? Uh. I guess it would be treat your partner with respect, don't cheat on them, and then try to uh, pick only nannies you want to sleep with because that's what it seems like he's vetoing them primarily because like they're not someone I would enjoy adult activities with. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with the older nanny other than the fact that she smokes and she won't hopefully smoke around the kids? Mm -hmm. And what's wrong with the male nanny, other than the fact that OP doesn't find him attractive? Mm -hmm. I, I, nothing, right? So that's my thoughts. Yeah, don't don't uh, sleep with your nanny. That's mm -hmm. today's moral. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.